Hello everybody, it's I, the Luigi Big Mac, and welcome back to Sam and Max Save the World. Last time we snapped Sybil, that's not the real Sybil by the way, we snapped Sybil out of her uh, hypnosis trance from playing Reality 2.0, and we just talked to her lips. Also, we managed to get into Reality 2.0, also known as the internet. Uh, I'm not going to look at any of the other stuff here. Let's go into the outside world, but anyway... Uh, yeah, so... Oh, look, oh, look, Mario coins. Um, anyways. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, yeah. Anyway, welcome to Reality 2.0. Uh, this is where stuff looks like. Uh, let's go into the control room. <gasps> Jack in the box! Let's kill it! Whoa! Pop-ups! Can't we get away from ads anywhere? We believe that you will want to hear about products available from our sponsors. Pretty solid. All promotions in Reality 2.0 are tailored to the buying habits of the individual user. Cog swallow. I heard that. Yeah, right. And... Intruder alert! Intruder alert! Take a chill pill, R2. It's just us. What the me hill is going on in here? I'm sorry, the selection Dialogue with Cops is currently unavailable in your area. Please check back later for updated conversation times. Excuse us. We have a reality to simulate. Well then, uh, here's one thing. If you look into our inventory, other than the boxing glove, our, uh, our little bug friend became a Kabir bug. This is important. Uh, first, let's... Let's... So, what aspect of reality do you control, he who only bleeps? Ask a stupid question. Well, let's give this thing a push. What's the worst that could happen? It turns out the computers controlling the world's nuclear reactors and the entire planet is subsumed in a massive radioactive firestorm? Uh, let's just try it and see. Pop-ups have been disabled for your convenience. Oh, well... That's good too, I guess. So we get to see what pop up, so we can go grab that jack box. Uh first thing first. Let's talk to so, you. How you keeping busy, Mr. Sensitivity? User width control. Who's your what's it? I am maintaining the width of your avatar. Well then. This is what happens when we when we well first let's try this on for size. Let's, this is what happens when we put a uh a beer pug. On, on this guy. That's not too helpful. True, but it is catchy. However, if you put it on on any of the other three, no way. Hi, buddy. We brought you a housewarming gift. Permission denied. Overruled. With maintenance routine compromised. Look, Sam, we're two-dimensional. This feels oddly familiar. Holy crap. That's hilarious, bro. Yikes, that dude's bugging. Yep. Well, let's exit as we are now uh, paper. And this is probably the closest you ever see me playing something like Paper Mario. That's also not a knock against uh, Paper Mario. I can't pick that up. I'm too flat for that. Okay. So we can't pick up the uh, Jack and Box yet. However, we're going to go back into, uh, Sybil. There's a reason for this. Closet door? Let's put this new miracle diet to the test, shall we? I found a gold coin. Wow, lose weight and earn money? Where do I sign up? I dropped an entire dimension, and I've never felt better. There we go. We got to start off a gold coin. Anyway, we can leave now. And we and we no longer have to go into Sybils. Anyway, let's retrieve our bug. User with control operational. Whee! 
Alrighty, and let's use our bug. Well, actually, let's figure out what this guy deal is. What's your story, Data Head? I'm maintaining your height for your convenience. If you're not satisfied with your height, please contact the customer service department. I'm not satisfied with my height. I'm sorry, the customer service department is currently closed. Please try again later. Now, we put a computer bug on this guy. Say hello to my little friend. Hello! I'm sorry, that is not a valid selection. Please try again. <coughs> Character height malfunction. OMG, Sam! Look how cute I've become! You've never been more marketable in your life, little now, buddy. Don't ruin this. My life! My beautiful Someone get that guy a lozenge. Alright, now here's the question. Are we still fast? Yes, we are. We, st we still move slightly faster. So, in the original, which didn't have running, by the way, you move really pretty fast in this. Now, obviously, you move really fast here. Now, let's try going into our office. I can't get up there. I'm too small. Well, luckily for us, we can actually take off the goggles. Uh, and let's let's go inside our office. And then let's put them back on. Well, I guess this is what our office would look like if it didn't exist yet. What? You guys? I swear, wherever I go, there you are! Oh, don't tell me you've become a Buddhist! Say, what have you got there, Jimmy? Oh no! Get away from me! Hand it over, mini jerkbag! No way! I stole this coin fair and square! Now, Jimmy, we can do this the easy way or we can do it the hard way. But personally, I'm leaning towards the hard way. It's mine! Beat it! Now, luckily for us, we're small. Hey, Jimmy. Oh, hey, guys. Wait a second. How'd you, uh... I thought I told you to beat it. Well, if you insist. Ooh, eh, 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 eh. <laughs> uh, Jimmy, two things never learn. Jimmy. See you around. Jimmy's good people. Good people. You got yourself another coin. And now, well, there's one, well, there's one last thing we need to do. First thing first, we need to tr retrieve our bug again. Thank you for your patience. I'm maintaining your height for your convenience. Now, let's see what this guy's deal is. What are you simulating there, big guy? I am the master of gravity! Really? I would have guessed master of jollity. You will fall! Time to give him the bug. You look lonely. Negative! I am supreme! Gravity failing! Must be up! Whee! Sir Isaac Newton must be turning over in his grave. Literally! I... I... I feel pretty and witty and gay! Turn him back! Turn him back! Alright, let's get out of here. But hey, we can actually jump high now. Which means we can collect those coins that are in the air. Something that Sybil could not fucking do. Also, let's pick up this before we forget about it. Hmm, near as I can tell, the only purpose of this thing is to generate those annoying pop-up ads. Look, Mac. Yeah. Sell out. There we go. And also, let's let's head back to the control room. We're gonna keep the uh, anti gravity on. But there's one last thing we need to do. And then we no longer have to go into this room ever again. I probably should have done this after I lowered gravity. Pop ups have been enabled for your convenience. There will be a, there will be a good reason why we enabled pop ups again. But luckily for us, the pop-up would not come out of, uh... Luckily for us, the pop-up, we don't have to worry about. Now then, uh, first thing first, let's talk to Hugh Bliss here. 
Well, if it isn't my recurring nightmare in the artificial flesh, the grinning disembodied head of Hugh Bliss. Hugh, I just want you to know that the way you unashamedly use your personal celebrity to thrust your spiritual beliefs on others is an inspiration to us all. I love you, Hugh Bliss. Hi, I'm not Hugh Bliss. I hate you. <laughs> Wait, you're not? No, silly. I'm the internet wizard. I'm an entirely virtual being, you see? But I've thoughtfully taken the form of Hugh Bliss to help you understand my role in your new reality. I still hate you. Okay. How about magic? Why don't you show us something magical? I'll do better than that. I'll give you something magical. It's not more magic beans, is it? My mom will kill me if I come home with more of those. No, it's your very own rainbow! A rainbow of lead-based color for your car. Uh, you're giving us paint? Uh, 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 not paint. A rainbow customization kit. Oh, well, that's a whole other story. Just use it with your car to express your inner being with all the colors of the rainbow. Some colors not available when prohibited. Hey, ready. Well, we got I'm that. All out of questions. But I'm not out of answers. Who cares? I like how Max is suddenly very uh, hateful. Well, we might have skipped the uh, Gumball dialogue here, but I we can still... I guess this is what video game characters eat when they need to rot their teeth out. Hey, where are the big honking ones that let you eat ghosts? Reality 2.0 caters to all manner of life forms, including dead life forms. The eating of ghosts has been disallowed to cater to our spectral clientele. Apparitions welcome. AIs are always so PC. Also, the joke there was Pac-Man. Uh, anyway, we must go to Virtual Bosco. Let's talk to Bosco. Bosco? Is that really you? I should ask thee the same question. Go ahead. What? Ask us the same question. Okay. Is that really you? Yes. Why do you ask? Guys, it's me, Bosco. I just got my new Reality 2.0 goggles, and with them, I have started the Internet Revolution. For the Shire. Bosco, don't look now, but I think your Reality 2.0 goggles may have hypnotized you. Please. Half-elf rangers of my level are impervious to every form of hypnosis enchantment. Ooh, this reminds me of those internet quizzes where you look at a bunch of shifty strangers and have to decide serial killer or United States Senator. Except we're asking, hypnotized or not hypnotized? Listen, guys, I'm perfectly happy in Reality 2.0. I never want to leave. Ever. Yep, hypnotized. Now where's my free laptop? Alrighty, yep, so... Yeah, so, in terms of the ranger aspect, I don't know if a ranger is immune to hypnotizing, but I do... But I do know that half-elves are immune to, uh... Magically being put to sleep and stuff. Or, like, magically being charmed. So... At least that's half right. We want to buy, buy some of your virtual goods. What have you got? My wares were designed for the fashionable half-elf. Not the brutish half-monster. Gee, no one's ever called me brutish before. I, I don't know what to say. And yet, I do have one weapon of such devious simplicity that even an incompetent swordsman such as yourself could wield it. The Platinum Sword of Berserker Testiness? The Enchanted Crossbow of Massive Decapitation? The Pushpin of Eternal Punishment? Nay, the Wooden Longsword of Intense... Uh, Longness. And we have we'll to money for it. Long sword, if you please. Five gold coins. Very good, verily. Here then is your wooden long sword of intense uh, longness. Yep, that's a wooden long sword, all right. I kept thinking it would come with a free man-eating python. Ooh, or something. man, man, for it, just. Care. Ooh, the enemy what the fuck nice. did I eat? He may to have that come out. Ooh. For the Shire. Well, that let's use the long sword on Bosco. Hey, Bosco, this long sword you sold us doesn't work. It does work. Trust it me. Trust it me. Uh, nay, it doesn't. Sam, show him. Oops, our mistake. It does work. Well, that was embarrassing. 
Boy, do we have egg on our face. <laughs> Bosco? Welcome to Bosco's E Convenience. Wouldst thou like to buy or sell? I think we knocked a virtual screw loose. Wouldst thou like to buy or sell? I think we knocked him clear out of this reality, little buddy. This is clearly an artificial intelligence designed to mimic Bosco while he's offline. It dost work. Trusteth me. Trusteth me. The similarity is uncanny. Anyway, yep, so we knocked out Bosco. Uh, ooh, slushy machine. Spawn point? What does that mean? Ew! It's kind of cute, actually. It must die, Sam. It and every single one of its kind must die. I need the experience. Well, then. Well, let's fight it. Menacing Blue Slime. Entering combat. Blue Slime, dexterity, two. Your dexterity, three. You have initiative. Sam attacks. Uh, attack with item. Actually, it's not much of a sword, but it is long. Attack successful. Blue Slime is defeated. That's one less gelatinous monster to spread mayhem across the virtual countryside. Look at its pathetic slimy remains. Almost makes me feel sorry for the little snot ball. Ooh, blue slime slime! Get it, Sam! It's worth a fortune on a spell component's black market! Yep, and we collected the slime now. Uh, let's take the goggles off. And then let's talk to, uh, Bosco. A fitting location for... Hey, Bosco. Glad to see you've kicked the second reality habit. Yeah, you guys were right. I was hypnotized. I just didn't know it because I was hypnotized. Well, I guess you'll never have anything to do with a nasty old internet ever again. Am I right? You got that right. Except my bank account, of course. Gotta keep that off the internet where it's safe. Let's see. What makes your money so safe on the internet? I got it all in one of those offshore banks. You know, real foreign. All digital. Safer that way. Does this bank have a name? Well, uh, don't go posting it on the street or nothing, but it's called BancoLavadero.com. Banco Lavadero? Isn't that Spanish for baby got back? No, I don't know what it means. I just know it's safe. Hey, ready. How do we pay you all? If we life? wanted to pay real life money to your bank account, how would we do it? Oh, it's easy. All you gotta do is drive down the information superhighway to BancoLavadero.com and transfer the money. That is easy. Oh, and you also have to know my top secret account password, which I would never tell anybody for any reason whatsoever. Bosco, we want to transfer a huge sum of money to your bank account. Just tell us the password. Yeah, funny thing. The deposed king of Nigeria was just in here saying the exact same thing. Yeah, but we're serious, and we have guns. Give us the password. No. In fact, I had it wiped from my memory so they can't even torture it out of me. Then how do you remember it when you need it? Well, just between you and me, I went down the street and had the password tattooed on a certain part of my body. Somewhere no one will ever look. Hmm. Look behind you. It's a three-headed internet. What? Where? <laughs> All right, we... Should take this. I think we need these binoculars more than Bosco does. Um, not really. Well, no. These incessant rationalizations for our questionable tactics do not, in all honesty, have much merit to them, and yet there remains a very real compulsion to say them. He <laughs> doesn't really need the binoculars anyway. Yeah, right. Right, okay. yeah. Oh, yeah. sure, okay. And then from here, I think we can probably use it on him. <gasps> Bosco! Bosco? What? What is it? Oh, nothing. La, la, la. Hmm. Anyway, don't mind us. We're going back on the internet. See ya. And then let's get out of here. Because we need to... In order to get that biological... Uh, well, actually, first, before we do that, let's get a little something. First thing first, let's... There's a plus two sword up here. Please use caution. Injury sustained in reality to- Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't care. 
Nah. -uh. Plus two swords. We can use the slime of that to get unstuck. Cool. I have a plus two sword. You're just compensating for something. You're a fine one to talk. And then we can talk to uh, this person right here. Antibiotic, who looks... Hello, dearies. If you have anything to mail, hand it over for inspection. What are you, a male cop? Don't be a dope. She's obviously a female cop. Actually, I'm a computer program. Antibiotic. I guard the internet from nasty, crippling germs and diseases and make sure only legitimate mail gets through. Like religious chain letters and advertisements for performance-enhancing medications? From Canada? You got it, hon. You look familiar. I don't suppose you know anyone by the name of Myra Stump. That was her name. Oh, sure, sweetie pie. I have to block a ton of a fan email every day. The resemblance between you and Myra is eerie. Really? Well, it's nice of you to say, dear. The internet designed this reality, you know. It picks some of its favorite public figures to represent different functions. You know, to make you player types feel more comfortable. I'm not sure it worked. Anyway. Well, I guess we'll move along now. Don't mail any wooden nickels. Anyway, in order to... I feel like she's going to be getting in her way, so... How about we fight her? Entering combat. Antibiotic. Dexterity, 459. Your dexterity. Three. Antibiotic has initiative. Antibiotic attacks. We defend. Now let's see. We can probably defend with the Jack and Box because we enable pop-ups. Attack blocked. Ha! Take that, Ice Lady. Watch her, Max. She's wily. Sam attacks. There you go. Don't screw it up. Thanks for your firm but realistic vote of confidence. Rip her arms off. And we, we shall attack with an item. Attack successful. Antibiotic takes 3,930 damage. Antibiotic is defeated. No! I think we've just uninstalled ourselves some malevolent software. And we didn't even get any coins out of it. What a jip. Anyways, well, that's done over with. We should probably use the paint on, uh, on our car now. I should probably hey, be holding a uh, right it. Hi, I'm the Reality 2.0 Rainbow Customization Kit. I can help you express yourself with a full range of color options for your vehicle avatar. What color would you like the front of your car to be? Hmm. Blue. Blue. Marvelous. Now, how about the middle? Red. Red. Excellent. And the back? Purple. Horrible. Hmm. Make Charlie, it purple. Congratulations. Yes! You customized your vehicle avatar. Drive safely. Yeah, thanks. He made it purple. All right. Where are we going, Sam? Let's see if we can get that biological Uncle weapon. Oh, fun. Wow. What's this? I think it's a security barrier. Checks out verified. Access approved. And we got through the firewall, so that that works. Well, here we are. Banco Lavadero. Located conveniently outside the jurisdiction of any significant regulatory body. Say, wait a minute. This is no ordinary bank. Look at all the arrows. This is a devilishly complicated money laundering operation. Money launderers. Ugh, I hate those guys. They always mix in the 10 euro notes and stain everything pink. National Treasury? Toy Mafia? I knew the mob and the government were in cahoots. Cahoots? Is that in Canada? Washington. There's Bosco's account. Do you think he's mixed up in all this? I think he's mixed up all by himself. Agreed. I think he's too paranoid to belong to any group whatsoever. But he does his banking at a shady offshore establishment? Of course. Don't you? Touche. Please speak or enter your password. 
Bosco. Bosco. Access granted. So, as password really is Bosco, kind of a letdown. It's ingenious. That's the last thing you'd expect. Hey, we can fool with the books and change the internal organizational structure. Goody! I always like restructuring internal organs. All right. Let's see. I see Hollywood's movers and shakers are involved in whatever's going on here. That reminds me. I have to work on my presidential enemies list. There we go. So, we got that. Oh, what else are we supposed to do next? Hmm. I see. Grandma Bosco? Is that who I think it is? Former Postmaster General, inventor of bifocals and the flexible urinary catheter? You're thinking of Benjamin Franklin. I think this is Bosco's grandmother. Right, I always get those two mixed up. It's the teeth. Hmm, I see we have... This is puzzle. Kittens for peace. Oh good, three things I can't stand. Look, Max, it's our old friends, the Toy Mafia. Didn't they blow up? Just the casino and the hypnotic teddy bears. I'm sure they have plenty of other illicit but family-friendly operations. That makes sense. Hey, Sam, here. what's the difference between online banking and online gambling? Judging by what I see here, not much. have to admire the pro-lobby lobbyists for their unrepentantly self-serving stance. I prefer the charming, self-destructed nihilism of the anti-lobby lobbyists. All right. Digital business. Now there's a vague term. If you think about it, analog business is even more vague. Alrighty, let's try. Damn it! This is quite the puzzle. Bosco sure picked a great bank. There we go. Don't look now, but I think there we, we go. We solved the puzzle. Billion dollars. That ought to buy a few cans of reconstituted luncheon meat. I read somewhere that a stack of a billion one dollar bills would be sixty miles high. Yikes! It's a good thing I don't read, or I'd be perpetually freaked out by stuff like that. Come on, little buddy. We've had our fun. Let's blow this cabbage patch. And let's get out of here. We, we got the money for Bosco. And let's, well, let's go retrieve it from him. We will just do that. And... We'll leave it off for the next episode because I just realized how much time that puzzle took. Alrighty then. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the episode, please consider subscribing. I uh, really appreciate it. It helps the channel grow. It will uh, help YouTube recommend my channel to other people. Uh, other than that, I hope you have a good day, afternoon, night, wherever you are in the world. And I'll see you guys in the next episode where we'll most likely finish beating up the internet and probably start the, the final chapter of this game. Uh, so yeah, with that being said... Uh, I hope you guys have a good one, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Buh-buh.